The date is March 18th, 2017. Thousands of Robloxians are scared, feared for their accounts. For on this day, it was rumored that the hacker, so known as John Doe, was going to hack Roblox all on this day. Every single game would be shut down, done for. What was Roblox going to do? Everyone was scared until what happened on that day? Nothing, in fact. This is how y'all look actually believing it. Uh -huh. After the myth was found out to be a myth, many people asked the question, where did this myth originate? Why is it called John Doe? What was rumored to strike? We'll answer this and a lot of more questions in today's episode of History and Analysis, Episode 3. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, I'd like to thank this month's Patreon supporters. Shout out to Jamar for being one of our first Patreon supporters this month. Thank you so much. Don't forget, if you want to keep up with me, follow my social medias. I have Twitter, Patreon, Instagram, oh, and we have new merch, all in the link down below. Enough stalling, let's get started. Now, let's learn the origins of John Doe. John Doe was created on June the 27th, 2006. His account was originally to be created for testing purposes, as stated in the blog by David Bazuki, addressing the issues about the John Doe myth. Another fun fact, John Doe was actually the second user to ever sign up for Roblox. Many fan fictions also picture John with a character known as Jane Doe, who was the third user to sign up for Roblox. She is also featured in the hacking incident. Now, this begs the question, when did John Doe first start to become a myth or start to become relevant as a myth? Well, we cannot really pin down a date. But if we were to pin down a date, it would be around January to February of 2017. This is when the rumors, I believe, were to be started. Videos started popping up about John Doe and how John Doe was going to hack on March the 18th. That was the set date. Next, we ask ourselves, where do the names John and Jane Doe come from? According to Wikipedia, the names John and Jane Doe are multiple use names that are used when the true name of a person is unknown or being unintentionally concealed. In the context of the law enforcement, such names are often used to refer to as a corpse whose identity is unknown or unconfirmed. Secondly, such names are also used to refer to hypothetical every name in other contexts. In a manner similar to John Q. Public or Joe Public. There are many variants to the above names, names including John Doe, Richard Joe, Jane Doe, and Baby Joe. This is where most fan fictions actually get their names from. Next, let's review the date of the attack and what was planned for this horrific attack. It was said that on 12 o'clock p.m. on March 18th, 2017, that John Doe and his allies, known as the community, would hack and shut down Roblox. However, this turned out to obviously not be true. In the next point, we will review how these signals added up to something was not right and how this was a myth. How did we consider this myth busted? On March 17th, 2017, David Bazuki officially posted a blog post on how this myth was considered fake. Here's the post. You can go in the link in the description to find it. So, what is my entire outtake on this situation? Well, I believe that this myth was not very believable in the first place. The proof just didn't seem to be adding up and YouTube has been known for their past hoaxes. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 600 subscribers. See you in the next video.